Okay, well, I had some more success today with the uh, Laser Saber Jewel Ringer. And I wound a bifiler inductor using the, uh, the uh, steel floral wire that's uh, enamel coated and a copper coated wire like he did. And look what I got. I got a little uh, exciter tower out of that thing. And that's just the coolest thing. A little exciter tower thing. And I just thought that was cool, so I thought I'd show people. Now, this is running uh, on uh, two and a half volts. Uh, there's neon. Uh, it's not connected here. It's open ended. It comes, there's the, the fluorescent going off. And uh, the germanium diodes are there. The no potentiometer. This is uh, pretty much a replication. I'm just waiting on the correct caps to totally replicate it. But I, I ran it with a smaller cap and it runs. Uh, it's just how long it runs. But I'll disconnect the battery here. There goes the battery. And I uh, see it's just running, running along. It's really cool. And uh, I just thought that was neat, though, that you get this exciter effect out of it. And you tap the uh, the uh, capacitor, and look what happens at the capacitor. It makes this fluorescent go on brighter, too. Anyway, I just thought that was uh, really neat to have a little uh, exciter tower bonus out of this circuit. So... Anyway, I'm having great fun with this thing here. Watch this. Watch the neon come on here when I get close to this thing. Just lots, lots of things you can do with this. I'm just, uh, just having a bang up time with this thing. And uh, this is, uh, this is running on pretty much the same circuit that he showed in his second video. Uh, it's got this uh, bifiler wound coil. Like I say, it's a uh, uh, iron or steel. Uh, enamel covered floral wire about 24 gauge and then 24 gauge on the uh, copper wire and it's round up on a um, one of these I just wound it up on one of these and then uh, uh, wrapped it up and uh, there's no special wrapping I just wound with wild abandon as Gina used to say on the coil here and it worked it worked quite nicely so Anyway, just want to report that uh, this thing does work, and that's how long it ran for. just went off. And I'll tap it again and get it going. There it goes again. But uh, yeah, this, uh, this thing is really, really enjoyable. I've, I've had a lot of fun with this. And uh, you can take the ends of this coil in your fingers and adjust the light output by just uh, tapping your fingers and simulating those germanium diodes. And here again, I just thought that was just really, really cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's a lot of fun. Enjoyed this project a lot. Thanks, Laser Saber.